In this video, we are going to examine the method of adding and subtracting vectors using vector components. If you wish to review adding and subtracting vectors using graphical methods like the tip to tail, or you wish to see a video on how to find the components of a vector, please see previous videos in this series. To start with, let's take some velocity vector a that is at 9.434 meters per second at an angle of 58 degrees counterclockwise to the positive x axis. Now I'll quickly sketch in the x and y components and just a quick review on how I get the x component using the cosine function then assigning a positive sign to it because it's pointing in the positive x-axis. We get an x component of 5.00 meters per second. And now that I look at that, I realize I probably messed up the significant figures, but let's concentrate on the procedural aspect of adding vectors right now. And following a similar procedure, you can see that ay is plus 8.00 meter per second. And if you're watching on the screen, you can see I drew it to scale. One box of the graph paper is one meter per second. Here's a second velocity vector that's 7.28 meters per second and is directed at 15.95 degrees below the negative x-axis. This vector would give an x component of negative 7.00 meters per second and a y component of negative 2.00 meters per second. And I'm just going to draw them on the screen to give us a little more area to work with. Now I'm going to add vector a to vector b and I'll just draw it tip to tail as we did in a previous video. And You can see the result is vector c. Now to give you an idea of how to add vectors with components, just notice that on my scaled diagram here, ax being plus 5, bx being 9 to 7, if we add those together directly, we get cx is negative 2, just like it is on the diagram. A similar process works with the y components. For instance, ay is plus 8. by is negative 2. So add these two together and you get cy is plus 6 meters per second. So it turns out that if you wish to add two vectors together, if you break each vector into its x and y components, you can add the x component separately to give the x component of the resultant vector, and you can do a similar thing with the y components. So let's take our two vectors from the previous example, a and b, show them with their components as I've done here on the screen. Let's add these together to give a resultant vector c. So first we'll add the x components together. So ax plus bx, so plus 5.00 meters per second plus negative 7.00 meters per second gives you a resultant of cx equals negative 2.00 meters per second. We can do the same thing with cy now by adding ay plus by and we'll get plus 6.00 meters per second. I'm just going to show these two components on a sketch to show you the vector c when you add these two together. And you can see, unlike the tip to tail method, which requires rulers and protractors, we can do this mathematically without having to worry about drawing technique. Subtraction works in a similar way. Let's set d is equal to a minus b. Well, to find dx, all I have to do is ax minus bx, or 5.00 meters per second minus negative 7.00 meters per second. And so those two negative signs will cancel and we'll end up with 12.00 meters per second. And dy is handled in a similar way, ay minus by, which will give us plus 10.00 meters per second. Just to do one last complicated example, let's take three three-dimensional vectors. So each vector will have an x component, a y component, and a z component and I'm putting here. We'll call them A, B, and C. And let's say we want to do a mathematical operation with these vectors where it's A plus one half B minus C. So to find the X component of D, DX will equal AX plus one half BX minus CX. So if we work that out and plug the numbers given to us from the components of the vectors above, we get dx is equal to 0, 0.0 meters per second squared. If we do dy is equal to ay plus one half by minus cy, we get that dy is equal to negative 5.0 meters per second squared. 
and if you repeat the process, you'll get that dz is equal to 0.0, .0 meters per second squared. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, which you can click on the link here on the screen, we will discuss the idea of unit vectors and how that can keep us a little more organized. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.